Google just made Nano Banana and VEO3 free on Wix AI. The best part is that you don't just get free access, both tools now work together smoothly. Unlike Gemini AI and Google AI Studio, their changing image sizes can be really frustrating. Wix AI make it very simple with its inbuilt frame option. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this on Wix AI in less than five minutes. Let's dive in. First, head over to Wix AI using the link below. Wix AI for free using your Google account. Over here, you're going to see the text prompt box. And once you click on this part that has images, you're going to see the subject, the scene, and the style. Over here at subject, you can either enter a text to create a particular image that you want or whatever it is you have in mind, or you can decide to upload an image. For this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead to upload my own character. And if you do not have an image, you can click this dice button to generate random subjects that you can use. These are the few random subjects that I generated using the dice button. It's a really great for inspiration when you need one. And whatever image at all that you created or whatever image you upload can be edited. Once you click over at this pencil that is here, you can edit your image. So now this is the prompt that was used to create the image. You can just come over to this part that has describe edit to edit your image. Let me be a little bit creative and put in this prompt that this is eating pizza. So once you click on enter, so immediately this is done, this is the character that we got of him eating pizza. And you can see that these are consistent. And once you've gotten what you wanted, you can now use that image as your subject reference. And this is it over here. And you can do this same thing over here at scene and at style. You can either decide for scene to roll the dice for ideas or simply enter a text prompt to describe whatever scene that you have in mind. And over here at scene, you can also upload an image of a scene that you want. So over here at subject, I am going to be uploading this clothing that I found online. I want my model to put on this clothes. Over here at scene, I'll be using this beautiful scene that I also saw online. And as for style, I'm going to be skipping it for now. And once that is done, come over to your prompt box and I'll put in this simple prompt. The woman is sitting outside and sipping wine. So once this is done, you're going to come over to the part where you select your aspect ratio. So Wix also give you control over aspect ratio. So you can select whatever aspect ratio that you want. So I'm going to come over to pick this one, which is the 16 by 9. Once that is picked, under the seed option, you can lock up the seed so that you can have consistent character and make sure that they precise reference mode is turned on so to give you precise images that you have uploaded let's go ahead and hit generate and see what we get here are the generated images so you can decide to pick from here to see which one you want to go for and if you do not like the poses or the style or you just need to do just come over to the prompt part to describe whatever actions you want her to display you can see how well it combined everything from the clothing to the style to the scene everything seems perfect and it also maintained the facial features of our model. Now here is a useful feature. If you do not like this and you want to refine it better, all you just need to do is just click on it and come to this part that has refine and click on refine. Once you click on it and you can come over to this part to describe what you want to change or what it, it is that you want to add. Over here at the prompt box, I can put something as simple as the woman is holding a coffee cup and just something as simple as that and this would give us this result. So you can see that it changed it to a coffee cup. You can decide to add a magazine on the table and this is the result. You can see that it added a beautiful magazine well placed on the table. Now let's get back to the project workspace. So what we're going to do here is to animate the images with video 3. Just click on whatever image you want to use and you see this animate option. Click on it to animate. So once you click on it, it is going to take you to this part. So you can come over to this text prompt to add a text prompt. Over the prompt bar, you can just put in whatever it is you want her to do and whatever it is you want her to say, whatever action you want her to display, just like you would do on video 3. And this is my prompt. Once you're done, just hit on generate. 
a few seconds, this is the result you will get. So this is the best video on Video 3 and Gemini AI you would ever see on the internet, right? Now, if you did not specify sound or dialogue, Video 3 might automatically just generate the sound, the dialogue automatically. Let's quickly try this on a cartoon style. I already have my animated images uploaded. This is an image of a boy and his pet animal. Over here at style, I would be giving it a simple text like this. Give me an animated desert seed. And once you hit on generate, it is going to begin generating your desert scene. So this is a beautiful desert scene. And then you can decide to put in a simple prompt in a prompt box. And then once your prompt is placed, you can just go ahead to select whatever aspect ratio you want and make sure your seed image is locked in and then the precise reference is locked in. Once that is done, you, this is the result that you will get. So I went ahead to animate this the same way we did before. So you can literally use this to generate animated story for your YouTube channels and upload get monetized and get paid. You can see that it's not just working, but it's actually mounting the word, just like we put on the prompt box. One last thing before we go. Now the main generation here is actually Imagine 4, but the refined features runs on Nano Gamma. Also, when you use Wix AI, you get access to five free generations of videos every month and it resets every month. So try it out and let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!